Hello? <coughs> Dawn? Yeah, Gail, is me. <coughs> How are you sounding so? Gail, I'm real not feeling good. And Michael down in the garage? I can't even help me make food for the children. You think you could help me out? <coughs> Lord. All right, don't worry. I'm coming over just now. I'll bring a little soup for you, and I'll bring some lunch that I made for the children. Okay, thanks, eh? No problem. Oh, God, look at you. You need sleep. <coughs> Get it bad. <laughs> Sit down now. Well, for a sick woman, you really have here organized. Yeah, it's not me now. It's your children. They don't make joke with the responsibilities. Especially when they see me sick, so. Hi, Auntie Paula. Hi, honey. You're real working. Where's your brother? He's going to the drugstore for mommy. Thank you so much for helping, mommy, darling. You know how much I love it when you take care of me for a change. And I am so proud that you did your homework without me having to ask you over and over. That's okay, mommy. Us girls know how to manage and multitask when we have to. Anything else I could do? No thanks, darling. I'm good for now. Look, Daniel, by the gate. Go see if he needs any help now. Okay. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Mom, sorry I didn't get the exact vitamins you wanted. I pick up some juice instead and these fizzy things that dissolve in water. Thank you, honey. Good thinking. Um, Mom, when I was leaving, right, you were still sleeping and I didn't really want to wake you. But I had to take some money from Daddy's spare cash pan. I know you always say to ask us, but he wasn't here and you know... Daniel, you know the last time you take money to buy phone cards, we were angry and disappointed at the dishonesty. But I appreciate you telling me the truth this time. I know, Mom, but it was to get the stuff for you. Look at the bill and the change and everything oh. here. It's okay, honey. I'm just grateful you helped out. Go put down the bags and bring me some of that fizzy stuff. Is a boot camp you're running in here or what? How oh, you have these children so well trained? Gail, if I only ask Carla to bring me some water, it's a set of grumbling. Gail, is not boot camp now. When they do something good, I tell them thank you and let them know how much I appreciate it. Just make them feel good so the next time they'll do it on their own. Honestly, it makes things easier than roughing them up all the time. But it does take some effort, eh? Tell me this thing. Gil, it was trial and error with Daniel. He used to be so hyper. Then Michael and I used to fly off the handle with him. Then a teacher in his school told us about positive discipline techniques and just how to talk to him, encouraging positive behavior. Now we're doing it with prayer from early. Less stress for everybody. Gil, the day my children wash and fold their clothes without me telling them something, well, Gila might faint. <laughs> you have to give them a little nudge every now and again. But once you remind them that it is their responsibility, and you give them a little praise every now and then when they do something good, they're bound to do it again. Well, I really hear this new supervisor at work. Let's talk different from the others before. She say how when people treat each other well, it does affect everything else they do. At work, at home and that we should talk to our children instead of buffing them all the time. It working at the store, might as well try it at home. I know a few people who could do it a little positive, no. A lot of positive words and encouragement. And I go in home now and try that. By next week, everybody making up their own bed. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. And thanks for the food, eh, Paula. You know how I love when you come to my rescue. No problem, anytime. <laughs> You see, all I had to do was tell you thank you and you're ready to cook for me again. <laughs>